Within the U.S. government, information is regularly generated that needs various forms of classification with goals to manage access and to enable a proper release of the information. Schemes exist for classified information as well as unclassified information, and is the latter controlled unclassified information that the upcoming demonstration focuses on. However, the same principles apply to classified information just like it does with PII, personally identifiable information, and PHI, protected health information, as well as other use cases. CUI markings have a particular but variable format with optional parts in the markings. The labels for categories, subcategories, and dissemination controls are also well defined. Here are some generic examples of CUI markings. You might be asking yourself, why should I care about CUI markings? Protecting the United States and its allies is paramount. One of the recommendations of the 9-11 Commission Report was increased information sharing, with further executive orders resulting in the controlled unclassified information processes to protect this newly shared information. Published in February of 2020 and updated in January of 2021, NIST SP 800-171 provides recommendations for protecting controlled unclassified information in non-federal systems and organizations. In other words, the defense industrial base, contractors, universities, and the like. The U.S. Department of Defense procurement processes care about enhancing the protection of controlled unclassified information with the Cybersecurity Maturity Model Certification, CMMC, serving to accredit compliant organizations. It's time for a demonstration. Documents were acquired in January of 2021 from Document Cloud, an open source catalog contributed to by journalists and the like. Upon processing by idle, it was discovered that a handful of the 2,500 downloaded documents contain real CUI markings. This is microfocused find and idle, where the Document Cloud documents were processed, with the output surfaced for inspection and analysis. We'll walk through some of the key capabilities shortly, but first, Let's talk about potential data sources. IDLE can access information anywhere. This is invaluable in that the deployed applications or services for a given department or agency can and will vary. Here are some examples. For support tickets, it may be ServiceNow or Salesforce. For email, it may be Exchange, on-premise or online, or Google Mail. For cloud storage, it may be Dropbox or OneDrive, and so on and so on. IDLE can also access information in any format. In the case of the document cloud data, PDF files are the primary processed format. As of IDLE version 12.8, over 1,500 other file formats are understood. For this demonstration, IDLE's eduction engine was configured to understand the format and permitted values of CUI markings. A user can filter the results by assigned and derived metadata. Some of the derived metadata includes the has marking true false tag, the extracted CUI marking values, including category and dissemination, and the match occurrence count. The generated metadata enables the user or find to drill down into the result sets and to use visualizations for analysis. With the sunburst, a multidimensional pie chart visualizes occurrence counts, in this case, the CUI disseminations versus the CUI categories. With a dynamically generated topic map, the user's query context, including their security profile, is used to produce key concepts with relative importance as shown in the visualization. The topic map is also interactive. Taking actions on interesting data is really why applications like Idle Find are used. Idle Find lets you export results data for sharing with other applications and colleagues. The declare record action is available to push documents using an Idle connector or API into a records management application like MicroFocus Content Manager, allowing for retention policies to govern what is, in this case, sensitive information. The Apache NiFi platform, augmented with the MicroFocus NiFi ingest package, was used to process the downloaded document cloud files. Here is a representative set of other MicroFocus idle get processors where get file system was used for this demonstration. The MicroFocus KeyView processors detect and route the documents, extract subfiles as needed, and extract the text and metadata. The eduction processor is configured to use a grammar which understands the format of controlled, unclassified information markings, extracting the markings as the eduction engine reads the document text. 
with the final step sending the document metadata and text off to the IDLE database for indexing. With IDLE, data can live anywhere. Traditional data centers, private clouds, public clouds, it doesn't matter. What's shown here and in the demonstration is a small representation of the large and constantly growing library of IDLE connectors that as of version 12.8 can access over 150 repositories. The IDLE ingestion services are available for use with the open source Apache NiFi platform as processors that can acquire documents and automatically identify the file type with an industry leading over 1500 supported file types, extract the metadata, text, and subfiles, and enrich the metadata, in this case, extracting the CUI markings, and then send the documents off for further analysis, in this case, using IDLE. Sending documents into the IDLE index enables two initial things, securely and quickly finding documents of interest and discovering patterns and trends in the data. But things don't end here. Various automated and or interactive actions can be taken like copying and moving a document to a records management application, encrypting a document to secure it, or simply disposing of them. IDLE can integrate with solutions from third parties and of course with other MicroFocus solutions. MicroFocus IDLE exists to access, understand, and analyze information regardless of the location, format, and language. The identification of CUI markings is but just one example of this broad capability. IDLE's collection of AI-powered analytic engines are designed to do one thing, make your data work for you.